Hey everybody, it's Zach here from the Ed Boys, and welcome to episode 33 of our RuneScape 2007 Road to 100 mil. I left off last episode saying that I was going to be getting to 70 agility, and that's where we're about to get. It looks like we're going to get exactly 60 marks of grace, because I'm getting one right here, so that's actually kind of convenient. That'll be a good 450k, something around there in profit. I did want to go up to 65, uh, because we already have 5 marks of grace in the bank, and I was kind of saving them so we could go to 65 this time, but instead I've decided that we'll just keep those 5 marks of grace, uh, we can come back to agility some other time, getting another 5 wouldn't take too long, but I've been doing this for a while, and I'm definitely ready to move on. We just have another lap to go before we get this 70 agility, once we're done with that we're going to be using it right away actually, there are some pretty good benefits with it. First though, I wanted to talk about doing more agility. I want to get to 80 agility, and what I figured is if I were to only do it in between episodes, it would take 6 episodes for me to do it. I, I could do it in less, but I think 6 episodes is going to be the number. I know that I want to get 80 agility, so I might just make an executive decision here and just go get it. But I do kind of want to get your guys' opinion. I haven't done this very often. Uh, I want to know what you think about me getting the 80 agility. I'll just do it in between episodes so you guys really don't have to watch me do that much agility. It won't be that much of a pain. By the way, we just got 70 agility, so now we could be training to 80 if we want. We're stopping here for now, but go ahead and tell me guys, tell me what you guys think about going to 80 agility. All right, everybody. I'm currently at the Rogue's Den where we're going to be getting the crystals that we're going to be selling. We'll probably make, I think I said right around 450k, somewhere in there. It depends on exactly where the crystals are right now it looks like we can get six packs of them which would be 600 crystals and if they're if they're like 800 piece this would be pretty good either way it's a decent amount of money for agility so now that we have these 600 crystals i am going to head to the grain exchange and sell them see what kind of profit we made all right everybody here we are safe and sound at the grain exchange where we're going to be selling these 600 crystals uh, if they're worth about 800 a piece, would be 480k, which is not a bad profit. It didn't take us too long to get it, and we needed the 70 agility anyway. So I guess making some money off of it is kind of a bonus. Uh, looks like they are kind of low right now, so 420k when they do sell, they never sell right away anyway. So it's not that big of a deal. We can wait. Now that we have the 70 agility, we're gonna go use it to run some fire orbs. I recently ran air orbs just a couple of episodes ago, and it went pretty well. We made a good amount of money. But what I didn't like was the fact that I had run into the wilderness to do it. I kept getting attacked by a few people, and it made it a little bit slower. Running fire orbs is not in the wilderness. It's in the Tavalry dungeon, but it's still pretty difficult to get through there. There's some black demons, black dragons, and some blue dragons we're going to have to go through. And not to mention some deadly red spiders. That could, not deadly red spiders, are they? Um, some, some type of spider that can poison you. I can't think of which one it is. It's definitely not a deadly red spider. I'm, I'm not remembering right now. But anyways, it's still kind of an adventure, but it's not as big of a deal. Plus, I think we can make more of a profit this way, purely because the PKers aren't going to be there. So I'm kind of excited about it. We're going to do a 1,000 orbs, which could be about a 1 mil profit. I'm guessing it's going to be around 300k an hour, but we will see. I actually have no idea. I don't know how, the, how long the run takes. I have not done it quite yet. But now that we have all the stuff to do the run, uh, I'm going to head over to Falador, and I will meet you there. All right, here we are in Falador. We're in the West Bank, and we're going to start our first Fire Orb run. I just drank a dose of Anti-Poison and Anti-Fire. I might change up how I do that because I don't think I should be drinking them right before and then running it, even though it wor would work. Excuse me. Uh, I think there's a better way to do it. I don't even know if I need the Anti-Fire. I brought them just in case. I think the shield will be plenty, but I figured in the first couple runs I wouldn't want to risk it. For the anti-poison, I believe I'll end up just bringing one with me and doing one less orb per run and then only having to drink one on the runs that it poisons me. That'll save some anti-poison. Uh, this isn't going to be too long of a run. I believe it'll be three or four minutes, and we're going to make a pretty good profit from it. I should mention that the reason we needed 70 agility was not only to help our run, but we can now use that pipe obstacle next to the blue dragons, which is very helpful in many cases. The biggest thing for us is it cuts down a lot of distance, and we also don't need the dusty key to get in here. That's only one inventory space, so it wasn't that big of a deal, but you had to run such a long distance without that shortcut that it would have really doubled the time of the runs, which is not good because that cuts the profit in half, and we don't really want that. So now that we have that shortcut done, I'm guessing it'll take like three to four minutes per run, which is not too bad. It's going to be a few hundred K an hour. I know that we can speed this up. I have a few other ideas for how to do that, but for this first run, I'm just experimenting with these thousand orbs. 
We're going to make a lot of money, like I said. I'm pretty excited. Uh, looks like the orb run didn't take too long, and we got to keep moving on with these. The next time you'll see me is when I'm all finished, so I'll see you guys then. All right, everybody. We're just finishing up our first fire orb run. It went very well. Uh, I did die a couple of times, I'll admit. Uh, the first time I just wasn't paying attention. The second time I didn't. I didn't really eat as much as I should have at the bank. I did use some of the cakes and swordfish we had left over some, from some other tasks we've done. So I did. I did spend a little more money if I were to buy food. But in general, we still made right about one mil. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to head over to the Grand Exchange and sell them where we're going to see what kind of profits we made. So it's very exciting. We got a couple magic levels too. I believe we're 68 magic now. And that's not too important for us, but it's always nice to be getting some experience. Alright guys, safe and sound at the Grand Exchange. I do want to say that I'm definitely going to be coming back to these fire orbs. I did really like it and I have a few ways that I'm going to improve it. But we're going to be working on those later. Next thing, I'll show you what we're doing next. First, we're going to sell these thousand fire orbs. Probably get to a 31 mil stack, which is not too bad. We also have the crystals here, so that'll that'll boost it a little bit. Uh, these sold right away, 1.7 mil, almost 1.8, and then another 420k. So almost 2.2 mil to put into the stack. I don't know how much is in there right now. Let's see, 30 mil, and we will examine 30.6 mil. So not quite 31 mil, but getting there. All right, everybody, so I've decided that I need to train some combat. We're going to get strength to 50. I think that'll be the only thing we do right now. We'll see. It depends. Depends on how I'm feeling with combat. I was going to do flesh crawlers, but I decided against that and decided for going back to chaos druids. I know it might sound crazy. I know we've done too many of them. Or we're probably too high level for them, but I don't really care. I do want to go there and test some rates. We made a good amount of money last time, so I'm pretty happy about them. I will meet you guys there, though. All right, here we are at the Chaos Druids. We're going to be getting 50 strength. I should say this is probably not the last time we fight Chaos Druids. I know that sounds crazy, but I have a good feeling about them. I believe I'm going to be able to get enough kills an hour to make this a good moneymaker. The XP will never be great, but the moneymaker is the important part to me right now. We got enough Ronars last time that I'm pretty comfortable with it. So hopefully we're going to make a good profit from this. We'll... We'll definitely get over 31 mil. I, I feel confident. I'm going to say it. We're going to get over 31 mil with this one. Uh, it's not going to take too long from 40 to 50 strength. And it'll be going quicker as we go because our max hit's going to be increasing. So it's pretty exciting. Uh, I'm going to see you guys when we get 50 strength. All right, everybody. We're about to get 50 strength. Uh, it's not too bad. We made a good amount of money. I did really like fighting these with these potions. I don't believe I used them last time. It increased the speeds a lot. And getting up to 50 strength also increased the speed, so I'm definitely coming back here because I believe I can make it even better, even more money per hour, and even more XP per hour, which is always helpful. But we're about to be 50 strength, so we're going to be going and leaving in a second. Going to be selling these herbs, probably make four to 500k. Like I said, get over that 31 mil mark. I thought I was going to get on that kill, but I wasn't really paying attention. Sadly, got to drop the coins because the inventory's full, but it's not that big of a deal because it was only like 70 coins. So we should be getting the 50 strength on this kill, I believe. There it is, 50 strength. Now we can use a granite mall, actually. I'm going to be talking about that in just a second. I'm going to meet you guys at the Grand Exchange where we're going to be selling these herbs. All right, everybody. Here we are at the Grand Exchange, safe and sound, where we're going to be selling the herbs. And I am going to be buying a granite mall because now we can use one and it has a special attack that I want to use. We're probably going to be heading back to those Chaos Druids right away and getting 60 attack. I know it sounds crazy, but... I've decided I want to do that. We're going to make a pretty good profit from this one, probably a few hundred K, so we should be getting to the 31 mil mark. I'm pretty confident that we will. If not, we're only going to be like 100 K away, and we'll definitely get it when we go to get 60 attack. So now that I've sold everything, let's check what kind of profit we made. 333 K, I'm not exactly sure how much we needed to get the 31 mil, but we will see. Sweet, 31 mil, we made it. Um, I'm also going to sell the super anti-fires because I didn't really use all of them. I figured I didn't need them. Uh, they're not very expensive, but that'll save a little bit of money. And then we got to take out, the I think, like 40k for the granite mall. It's pretty cheap right now. I'm basically only using this granite mall for its special attack. It should be helping us to get a few extra kills an hour at the Chaos Druid, which is good. That'll be more money and more XP. So take out this 40k, and it looks like we barely have over 31 mil. So uh, we're only 18k over, so buying the Granite Mall is going to put us back under 31 mil. Kind of a bummer, but I guess we have to deal with it. It's really not, not a huge deal. 
Uh, I'm going to buy this granite mall, then I'm heading over to the Chaos Druids. I will meet you guys there. So it does seem like we've mostly done Chaos Druids lately, but don't worry, we only have one or two more runs left, I feel. We're going to be doing this run, probably make 700 to 800k from it, getting to 60 attack, where we can then buy some dragon weaponry, but we'll be getting there later. Uh, this is going to have to wrap up the episode, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys next time when I have 60 attack. I want to thank you guys for watching today's video and helping support the channel. If you enjoyed the video, we would appreciate it if you would hit that like button and tell us what you liked about it in the comments section below. If you're looking for more videos like this one, then go ahead and join the cul-de-sac by clicking that subscribe button and follow us on Twitter at TheEdBoys. All links are in the description.